Hello y'all, welcome to another vlog. So today is actually Wednesday, July 7th. Yes, it's Wednesday, July 7th. So I actually just ended last week's vlog like an hour ago. I've showered, I shot today with Bella Rose. And so I came home and had this PR package waiting for me. It's a company called Good Molecules. I've seen them on Ulta's website, which they say they're coming soon to Ulta stores. Um, but they just reached out and said, hey, we love your YouTube channel. Can we send you some things for you to try? They're cutting the grass outside. Um, and I said, yes. So this is not, there was no promise of me talking about it in a video, trying it in a video, anything like that. But I'm very excited for it. So I'm starting this week's vlog a couple days early because I wanna try it for a full seven days so that by the time that you're watching this, I can give you a decent review and opinion and how I think this works for my skin. So they did ask me um, skin type, any skin issues, that sort of thing. And then they picked these four things to send me. So I figured that we would try them right now. I have the Rosewater Daily Cleansing Gel. I have the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I have this squal Squalane Oil. Am I butchering everything? And then Hyaluronic Acid <laughs> Serum. Um, all of these say AM and PM. I just went to their website to like double check the order. I'm just double checking my words now. Yes, all of them say AM and PM. So what I liked about these products is that they're cruelty-free, vegan-free, never tested on animals, that sort of thing. So I thought that we could give it a go. I wanted to face this way so there's a window right behind you so that you could see what my skin looks like. I have freckles here, but I also have sunspots that you can see. I feel like I'm getting these like fine lines um, a little bit here. My skin is uneven. It's got like a red tint to it. So those were all the things that I mentioned. It's very dry as well. All those things I mentioned to the rep from Good Molecules when they reached out. So here's what it looks like. Day one. All right, step one, cleansing gel. Dispense a small amount in palms and massage onto the face to create a light lather. Rinse well, use after a cleansing balm. Avoid direct eye contact. Good to know. Here's what it looks like. We won't do this every day. I just feel like for the first time, we should probably, you know, talk about it and do this together. I'm trying to like figure out the best way to do this. This is a glass container, which is nice. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on my face. We're going, oh, okay, okay. Two pumps, pump and a half. Very thin. We're going to avoid the eyes because I'd like to see for the rest of my life. It doesn't smell like anything. It really doesn't. It doesn't feel like any different. It doesn't feel cool. It doesn't feel warm. It doesn't, it really doesn't feel like anything. We are going to use the brightening toner. This is step two. I just had to dig through a drawer and a cabinet, actually a cabinet, to find those cotton rounds. I haven't used those and I can't even tell you how long. I'm pretty sure I bought them to probably get nail polish off or something. Okay, so here we go. This is what this one looks like. It says, dispense onto a cotton pad, gently sweep over clean skin, can also be dispensed into palms, okay, and pat it into skin until fully absorbed. I'm gonna put it on a cotton round just because I took all that time that you didn't see to find it. I can't squeeze the bottle because it's glass, so we're just gonna, is that enough? Can you see I don't usually use toner? I got like a two-step skincare routine. Okay, so I have quite a bit on there. We're gonna sweep it over. Avoiding the eyes. I hear the cat. Okay, there's nothing on that. Also doesn't smell like anything. My skin is not tingling. It doesn't feel tight. Third step we have is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, formulated to draw moisture into the skin for deeper hydration. Apply a few drops in the morning and at night before oils and moisturizers let absorb for 30 seconds. It says pH is five. Can you even see that? 5.8. And then it tells you, oh, I do feel a little bit of tingle on my forehead now. 
um, tells you all, it says nothing to hide ingredient list. How cute is this one? Glass as well. I'm just gonna squeeze, oh. Is it full? A few drops. One, two, three. That was maybe three and a half. Am I supposed to rub or pat? Squaline oil. Am I saying that completely wrong? So this is the very last one. It says apply a few drops in the, to the skin in the morning and at night. Let it absorb for 30 seconds. And then if it's in the morning, your next step would be sunblock, which I'm not gonna do that because I'm not going anywhere like I'm in for the night. Okay, this is definitely like a thicker feeling. So I will do this exact same routine every morning, every night for the next seven days. And I'll see you, we'll, we'll, we're gonna do a normal vlog, don't worry. But I won't talk about this every day. I feel like that's no fun. Um, so we'll recap at the end of this vlog, Wednesday, probably night after I do my seventh day, like my PM on the seventh day, we'll recap and figure out what we think about it. But that's what it looks like so far. Let me put you back in the other light. Here's what we look like. Now they're in the backyard cutting the grass near me. Um, skin looks good, feels very hydrated. I have no tingling, burning, any sorts of sensations, which is perfect. Um, so there you go. I'll see you tomorrow, probably. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. <laughs> So I uh, just came outside, set everything up for my workout. The other day when I cleaned out my closet, I found a bag of Yvette sports bras that I like hauled in a video and lost them. And I found them the other day. And so I'm so excited because these were like a bag of favorites. Um, so I'm wearing like a super high support one today because uh, typically Thursdays or the second session of the week is upper body. And at the end, we like wrap it up with a hundred jumping jacks or some sort of like cardio activity like that. So I'm excited for these. I don't want to talk your head off again because I feel like the last bit that you watched was just a lot of talking. So I'm going to work out and then I'll be back. Hi, good morning. Okay, I can't hold you up. I'm like... I'm, I'm just, I'm a speechless. Um, I'm sitting outside with the dog. Obviously, I have a fan over there blowing on me. We did upper body today, as I mentioned earlier. And a, lately, a few times lately, we've been doing uh, jumping jacks at the end. We always do some sort of cardio at the end of upper body. So I just assumed, I guess, that it was going to be jumping jacks. It was not. We did 60 burpees. We, nobody else but me did 60 burpees today. Well, at my house, somebody else somewhere in the world is doing them, but you know what I mean. I need to chug this water. Do we want to time it and see how long it takes me to chug it? It's ice cold, so it's gonna take me a little bit longer. I'm gonna wait for your timer to roll around. Oh, it's cold. Whew. I don't think I can do it. Thirty-five seconds. All right, it is now. I'm in reverse. I think it's. Let's see. I'll put it in park. It's one o'clock. I, if I'm sitting in a parking lot, my car is always either in reverse or drive because if somebody tries to step up on me, I'm, I'm hitting them with my car or I'm getting out of there is my thought process. So I just, I'm sitting outside Dillard's. I just filmed a swimsuit Saturday, the worst to date. Honestly, the biggest fail I've had in a swimsuit video to date. You've already seen it at this point, but I'm still like in the mindset, like I'm still sitting here. That was horrendous. The sheer amount of plus size swimsuits i think they had 10 and the entire store who did that i think i'm gonna run into ulta i need some new eyeshadows i mentioned it before that i have that naked palette that i don't love i did order some shadows from 
uh, Makeup Geek, which I think I did a little bit too cool tone. They're a little bit too gray. I like them and I'll use them for like not the everyday looks that I do. Um, so I think I'm gonna run into Ulta, just peruse. So this is the one that I have. Naked Honey, this one looks nice. Hmm. And so does this one. I am home now. I pulled out the wrong receipt. I was gonna show you what I ended up getting from Ulta. Did I black out at Ulta? Like, I just, I spent $240. Like, cool. On what? I'm about to show you what I spent money on. It all fits in this tiny little bag. Okay, so I know Ulta is starting to sell MAC products. So the store that I was at, not my usual store, they had the whole setup. So I got the Art Library Nude Model Palette. I'm very excited about this. MAC is like an OG for me. I feel like for a lot of people too. Um, I used to use it like when I got my first TV like on-air job, I would go to the MAC counter and like get really expensive makeup for my TV job. I don't know. It was just, I like it. And I remembered liking it. So, oh, I can't get it open. Oh, here we go. I liked that it has a mirror, hello. And then these are the colors. This is what it looks like on the inside. So I really just went in for eyeshadows. I wanted to say too, I had so many people recommend ColourPop, which I've tried ColourPop in the past. And for some reason it had like a weird reaction to my eyelids and caused like really dry, itchy, like patchy skin on my eyelids. That's why I didn't purchase it again. And then Morphe was another one, which I, the first like big palette I ever purchased was from Morphe, loved it. I just wanted to try something different. So I ended up getting that. Who remembers this? Do I need Clinique Happy? Like Taryn from middle school? No, but it smells so good. And I don't really wear perfume that often, but I thought that this was like a very summery. If you know Clinique Happy, you know exactly what it smells like. So I got that. And then I also ended up grabbing this, the Magic Extension MAC Mascara. So do y'all remember years ago that, it may still be around, Unique, I think was the name of the brand. And they sold like a fiber type mascara. It was like a two-step process. So this kind of reminded me of that. It says, 90% um, said lashes achieved over the top exaggerated volume. Five millimeter fiber, fibers? Why did I like choke up on that? There's the before and after. I did get this Bare Minerals uh, Love Lip Gloss. It's called Lip Gloss Balm, just for like photo shoots and stuff. Y'all know I love the Rimmel Oh My Gloss in Snog, but I wanted something that had just a slight bit more pigment. So I thought that that could be pretty. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be like perfect. Absolutely perfect. Also, don't mind my lips. I'm trying to wean myself off a of chapstick. I decided that this morning. Don't ask me why. But I've used chapstick like nonstop, every day, all day, for like 20 years. So if my lips seem like a little dry, we're just, it's the weaning process. We're getting through it. I picked up a Max Fix, Mac, Max, Mac Fix Plus because I needed something new. And then I also grabbed the Studio Fix Foundation. Um, I got it in a shade like slightly darker than I am now. We swatched it right here, like the tester. If you can tell, it's just a little bit darker because typically I'll be a little bit more tan for photo shoots and stuff. And then is this last, yeah, I picked up one of these. So it's the Coconut Lime Scent. I have a Coco Colada tea tree sugar scrub I got from Target. Oh my gosh. Anything with like coconut in it reminds me of summertime and I just love it. So this is just a nice exfoliant. So I did I need any of this? No, but here we are. Oh my goodness, she's not as uh, camera happy as the dog. <laughs> what? Tell him, tell him. You don't got nothing to say. Why does my washing machine sound like that? <laughs> Maybe I should go check it. Okay, welcome to later in the day. Dinner time, it's 7.20. I look, have I been rubbing my face? Anyways, okay, it's dinner time. Let me show you what I'm cooking. 
Here we go. We bought this a while back. Reyes meat lasagna. It says it takes an hour because we tried to cook it last night, but we didn't have enough time. Okay, so preheats 370. Okay, 375. Uh, cook on for 60 minutes. Put item on baking sheet. Place on the center of the oven rack. Remove entire, uh, remove entire, remove entree from carton and then put it on a baking sheet. Remove carefully from oven, tray will be hot, remove film. Okay, so we leave the film on the whole time. Brian said that he should, sorry, he should be getting off on time, which he's supposed to get off at eight. How are you feeling? Everyone's asking about you. See, I'm perfect. She's acting normal. She's doing a great job. Uh, we just cook her, like grill her some chicken and she's had it for breakfast and dinner and she's taking her meds like a champ. So let's just hope it continues. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. So last night's dinner, I will put a little video here of the lasagna. Turned out pretty good. It needed a little bit of help in the seasoning department, but other than that, we both liked it. It was easy to make. So we'll probably do it again. So typically right now I would be working out, but Carly needed to cancel or reschedule, I guess, for tomorrow morning. Um, so I'm making me a bagel, letting the dog out. She's doing great. Uh, but what I'm really here to show you, so my birthday is July 21st. I mentioned it in last week's vlog. I'm a July baby. I'll be, I won't tell you how old, but my birthday is July 21st. And so I am just, I love birthdays. So I picked my own birthday theme for this year. So let me show you. Some of the stuff started coming in. Brian's bagel son. Brian's been getting it on Amazon. Um, so I'm so excited. We're just doing like a pool day here at my house with my family. So it's nothing big, you know, nothing crazy but I just still like to decorate. So let me show you. We're doing a shark theme pool party. <laughs> I'm like a 10 year old, I know. But how fun is this? We have a big shark. I bought it for Brian a while back, a big floaty that kind of looks like that actually. Um, so we're gonna blow that up. We have plates, silverware, banners. These are cute little bracelets he bought. Like all kind of stuff. Like look at these napkins. Huh. I'm just so excited. It's literally, I get so excited over stuff like this. Um, I don't know what the cake looks like, but he mentioned, he was like, just wait. Look how cute that is. Wait till you see the cake. So I'm very excited. It's the little things in life that just make me happy. I probably won't see you again today. I'm hanging out with my nieces. Uh, we do this typically once or twice a week. So we're going to hang out today. And then he's off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I probably, I'll see you Monday, really, for that photo shoot. Cotton Bay has asked me to come in again for a photo shoot. And they're really great about letting me film behind the scenes and stuff like that. So I'll show you that tonight we are going to look, <laughs> we are going to look at a four-wheeler that Brian found somewhere. If he buys it, I'll show you some of that tonight. Look at that right there from her scratching. Oh my gosh. Okay. So otherwise... If I don't see you tonight, I'll see you on Monday. Good morning, y'all. Surprise, it's Wednesday. It's not Monday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. So I was supposed to shoot with Cotton Bay on Monday. I guess the dog sees something. Um, they rescheduled for today. So I just hung out with Brian on Monday. He was off. Yesterday, Tuesday was a super busy, like filming, working, not fun day for y'all to watch. So today I am up at... 725 and I'm getting ready to go. So I did my skincare. Today is day, let's see, I started Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Seven and a half, let's go with, because Wednesday I didn't use it. Like I used it Wednesday night, not Wednesday morning. So we're gonna go with seven full days of using the Good Molecule Skin Care Regiment that they sent me. So we'll talk about it tonight. Once I get back, and take my makeup off, but here's what my skin looks like this morning. Here it is in direct sun. In case you wanna see, I do have sunblock on, um, on top of everything. So I'm taking my like tripod with me to shoot today, so I'm hoping they'll let me get some behind the scenes stuff. They always do. 
Um, so I don't see any reason why I couldn't do it today just to show you. I've been eyeing this dress in their store. I was actually going to go and get it last week, like buy it, try it on and buy it. And then they reached out and asked if I could come to a photo shoot. So I'll get a chance to wear it for a little bit longer and style it and that sort of thing. Today, I could have slept so long this morning too. Yesterday's workout was so hard as well. Whew. Okay, I'll see y'all next time I'm looking presentable. Here we are. It's like 8.45. I'm a few minutes early. I'm like three minutes from where I need to be. So I stopped and bought a Honey Nut Cheerios bar from this little convenience store. I also got me a coffee. I just got the coffee this morning at Yellowhammer. And then halfway here, all of a sudden I felt really nauseous. And I was like, well, I should probably eat food food because I'm gonna be here for hours. So my plan was, there's actually a McDonald's near the interstate, which is not far from where I am. And that's where I was gonna go and just get like a hash brown or something. But then I saw that gas station. So I'm trying to eat me a little bit of this bar. It's not the best in the world. Nothing against the bar. It's just like personal preference. So I'm gonna eat a little bit of this, answer some emails. Also I'm day, what am I? I think it was Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Seven days, six or seven days without chapstick. I think we're finally at a point where I'm okay. I did have to buy a little, let me see if I can find it while we sit here. I'm not moving. I'm just literally sitting in my car um, in this little like abandoned area. I can't find it right off the bat. Um, but it's a little Vaseline like lip thing. That's been a lifesaver for like outside of my lips, like right under my lips got so dry, but I haven't had to use that in a couple of days. So we're doing good. All right, I got all my bags packed. I'm ready to go. My lipstick is in the bag and then I'll brush out my hair and like spray it and everything once I get there. So here we go, rack ready to go. They're steaming a pair of leopard pants, which I'm very excited about. So this is the dress that I've been eyeing on uh at their store so i'm very excited to try that this i love these like checkered gingham prints um a couple things in several sizes just in case some really pretty soft materials these are ones that um come in curvy and in straight sizes so they pulled these also for the straight size model to wear at the same time and then i brought several pairs of shoes just in case and then obviously my shapewear, I have undergarments, I've already set up in case I need to redo my makeup. So I think we're gonna try this one first. It's actually in straight sizes, um, but we're gonna see if it works. Okay. Um, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna work. It's very short. Okay, but it's not my decision, so I will show them and see um, if they want to shoot in it. If not, we'll move on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, turn sideways and put your hand in your pocket. I'm just going to do like a deep one shot. Okay, this is the one that I've been eyeing at the store. How cute is this? This isn't a 2X. I don't know when everything will be on the website either. It's not there. Yeah, I don't think it's there when you're watching this. Um, but if you're in Mobile, they do have stuff in store. So, let me tuck these little things. Keep that in mind. Oh, this is so cute. I'm wearing it with these little wedges, but would be really cute with white sneakers too.
excuse me. <gasps> this dress, it's red tiered. Oh my gosh, you can't even see. Like midi length. It's lined the ruffle sleeve. Okay, this is so cute. <gasps> Do I need this one too? This is like my dream style of a dress. Hi, hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you're such a big baby. And then this one. Hi. He's so cute. I wore my new Mac. It's NW20, I'm pretty sure. Studio Fix Fluid, SPF 15. Yes, NW20 today for the first time. And it is holding up so well. Okay, I'm gonna show you this top and then that's the last thing. But look how cute. It's like a peachy color. This is in a size 2XL too. So it's like way oversized. Yeah, cute. Okay, I have to get to work, but I will see you when we're done. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. It's a little bit later. I'm home, obviously. I've showered and I washed, like, washed my makeup off and then used the Good Molecules cleanser. I feel like this is the point where we should probably chat about everything while I do my skincare routine. You watched me do it in the very beginning. That was on a Wednesday night. Today is Wednesday night again. So I've been using it for that many days, morning and night, religiously. Even if I don't like wear makeup during the day, I'll still wash and cleanse my face with this at night. So here's my thought process. So far, I've had no breakouts, none whatsoever, which is almost like unheard of for my skin. Anytime I try something new, I tend to have at least one breakout somewhere. I've had zero, N nada, nilch, nothing. So I really like that. The only qu like question I have, so in between, so I'm supposed to use this, which you just watched me put on with a little cotton pad. It's the niacinamide brightening toner. And then once that's like fully into your skin, you use the hyaluronic acid serum, a few drops, press it into your skin. This one gets like a light lather. Am I doing something wrong? I looked it up online and the demo on their website they didn't get. I'm gonna do like three drops. That was two and a half, three. I mean, it's like, if I rub it, it like lathers. So I've just been like pressing it in because I feel like <laughs> that's the best option. I did get a video this morning after I saw you earlier of what my skin looked like, um, just so that I could show you in like proper lighting because I didn't know what the time would be like at this point in the day when I was finishing. So you're looking at that now. So once that's fully in, let me wash my hands. We've waited 30 seconds and I'm gonna do the oil. I do have to go in, let me slide you over. Um, after like I've done all four steps of the Good Molecules, this being the last one, I go in with my like typical moisturizer, the Matte Complete Comfort Cream, only because these it says to try and avoid the eye area. And I have to have something on my eyelids for sure because I have such dry skin and I tend to get eczema on my eyelids. So that moisturizer from MAC has helped me so much over the years. So once this is like good in my skin, I'll wait a few minutes, I'm gonna put the moisturizer on. But while we wait for that point, so no breakouts, first of all, which is phenomenal. I feel like my skin isn't as red, like my cheeks aren't as red. I don't know if I really notice a difference yet in the sunspots that I have on my face, um, but I feel like over time, just reading the website and hearing like testimonials, like results and stuff, 
that people did see a difference. So I feel like that could happen with time. Again, it's only been six or seven days at this point, but I feel like my skin looks really good. Also, oh, that's what I was gonna mention. So I don't know if you can tell, I have a couple of, like there's one right here. I don't wanna touch my skin because I just cleansed it. There's a couple of white spots, like white heads that have been deep in my skin for years and they've just lived there because I couldn't get to them without like breaking skin and stuff. So I just left them there and they're coming to the surface. Like they're actually, it's actually like a bump feel now versus just flat skin. So that makes me very, very happy. Okay, let me turn you around and get good light so you can see what it looks like right now. So I'm a little bit red because I just rubbed that moisturizer into my skin. But here's what we look like. It will absolutely not be this red in probably 10 minutes. I just do have sensitive skin. So like anytime I touch, not even my face, but like my body, I'll have a mark there. Um, so here's what we've got so far. I really like it and it's super affordable, which I didn't realize Wednesday when I first talked about it. Over the week, I've obviously looked at the website and uh, looked at prices and stuff. Super affordable. You can get it on Ulta's website, obviously the Good Molecules website, but also um, they're coming to Ulta stores. They may already be there or it's a soon kind of thing, so you can actually shop in store. It's not sponsored, like as I mentioned in the beginning, um, but... I do really like it. I have an appointment on Friday this week with um, a dermatologist just to ask a few questions about my skin, some spots that I wanna talk about. So I'm gonna bring up the regimen that I've been doing and make sure that that's the best thing for my skin. The only thing I may add if it's recommended is maybe like a retinol or something to just help with a few fine lines but also to prevent them as long as possible, you know, that sort of thing. So that's the only thing that may change, but I'm really happy with it so far, which honestly surprises me because trying new skincare scares me because I just have such sensitive skin, but so far so good. So I'll quit rambling about it now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will um, link the Good Molecules website down below and you can check it out for yourself. All the things that you saw me model at Cotton Bay, I feel like I only showed you like five items. That was like a fifth of what I modeled. I don't think it's on the website yet, but keep an eye out if there's something that you did see, like that red dress. I feel like I should own it because it's just, it's so pretty and it's red. I don't have anything like it. Um, so once those things hit the website, I'm perusing as well. So just keep in mind, they're not there yet. I don't think, but they will be there soon if there's something that you're interested in. And then I'll do a video for them, like a separate dedicated haul in the next few weeks. They've got a couple of fun events coming up. So we're gonna hold off until after those events. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe, you know the drill. And I'll see you on Saturday for a really fun swimsuit Saturday. I've already filmed it. Let me just tell you, two things for sure, home run. Home run, though the other ones aren't a total like fail, but two things that just like blew my mind. So I'll see you on Saturday.